What is up everybody? Good morning. I have a huge glass of orange juice right here, which is so delicious. I already had half of it. I know juices are like kind of controversial because they're controversial because they're somewhat bad for you, but this literally like curves my appetite until like midday, like three o'clock. And it like wakes me up. It feels like I know that sounds crazy, but it kind of feels like routine-ish for me. You guys, I just wetted my beauty blender and I'm gonna not even have to do that today because I wanted to try out, what is this? This is not, oh, lip butter balm. I don't even think I had to wash my beauty blender to be honest, so. Well, I got Tarte Foundation Powder. I've been, like it finally came in. I got it in light sand and I got it in medium just because like, I'm either light sand or medium. I don't know though, I already wetted this. Should I just, it's fine. Just because you already did something doesn't mean you have to finish. You don't follow through with it. Or should I just like cover? The point of getting this was so I didn't have to put like liquid on my face. But I have that spot treatment stuff that's actually supposed to like help your acne from Sephora in olive and shell. I'm assuming, yeah, shell's like lighter. So. Maybe I'll just try and blunt a little bit of that just because I still have some acne. I don't know if this is wor this works, to be honest. It's supposed to, like, spot treat, like, it's supposed to help your acne. Like, it's literally, like, because it has salicylic acid in it. So, I guess it's supposed to, it's literally called clear and cover. Like, it's supposed to clear and cover your acne. So, I don't know if that's true. I've never heard of makeup helping acne, but you know what? We already wet it, so we'll just blend it out with that. Okay, so well, that's pretty much. I mean, my skin's looking like better. I know it's not amazing, but it's looking better. Um, yeah, I have been obsessing over Beetlejuice again lately. I mean, obviously, my whole bedroom Beetlejuice, and I love Beetlejuice, and I love Beetlejuice the movie. But lately, I've been obsessing over the Broadway show because it has officially closed at the Winter Garden because it was supposed to close June six. We've already talked about this, and Broadway's closed indefinitely until June seventh. And that's like the earliest they'd go back. So, and who knows, you know, with the whole, um, with everything going on, like, are people, you know, like once everything does open up again, right? I was thinking about this, like once everything opens up, are people going to be like that eager to go sit in a crowded theater with a bunch of people? You know what I mean? Like, is everyone going to be scared? And I'm, I'm sure they will be, yeah, right? Me too. I'm kind of like that too. I'm like, okay, so like supposedly we're, we're open May 15th. So I'm like, does that mean I can go hop on a plane May 16th? Can I hop on a plane May 14th? Like, what's the difference two days gonna make? You know what I mean? Um, I mean, I guess we're over the hump is what I've heard. I don't really like, like I said, I don't really follow. Do you like press down? Someone help me how you do this. Cause like, this looks like one of those things that you like press into. Um, yeah, I don't really like follow it. Cause I am one of those people that believes. And do you put it on like powder? I have no idea how you do this, but. Because to me, this feels more like powder than like foundation. Oh, it covers, I see. Oh, yeah, that kind of covers nice. This actually is kind of dark. Do I open the right one? Light sand. This actually kind of covers nicely, actually, yeah. You might have to like layer it if you want it to be like a foundation y, but. You know what, for isolation time, it's not bad. Okay guys, let me know how this works. Like I do think I'm using this wrong. And, I, and you guys, you know what, I love, I do read comments. I like, you know what, I always say I get like a lot of hate and like a lot of people will tell me that too. Like, how do you get so much hate? How do you deal with it? But to be honest, I get a lot of love too. And I guess that's why like, I don't let people bother me too much. Oh wow, that was a lot. Use this whole thing in my face in one sitting, so I don't know. I was thinking about that, like, I don't know, like, yeah, a lot of people hate me, but a lot of people like me, and you know what? That's kind of just life, and maybe, yeah, I get a little more hate. Um, I was watching a video of this girl, I think she said she did a video on me before. What do we think of this coverage? It's pretty good, right? I'm happy with it in person. 
It's not like the heavy coverage I'd like and I'm used to, but it is nice. I was watching a video of this girl. I'm going so light with makeup today. I like don't even care. Um, and she was talking about like, do I do the things I do because of mental illness or is it on purpose? And like, okay, I read a lot of comments that people like this channel because they're like, you seem very like chill and normal. And, like this is the church we like. And like, this is me. This is me. And I guess, and I know every time I even talk about this, people get so upset, but I'm just going to talk about it freely. Like I truly do feel if it's not multiple personality, I, tr I feel different every, sometimes every day, sometimes every moment. Like I wake up feeling like different people all the time. Like I'll go to bed feeling like one person and I wake up being like, oh my God, what, what did I do? I as in Trish, right? Because that's how people see you. Just with anybody with disassociative identity disorder, there's the person people see you as. If they don't know personalities or whatever the case is. Um, and like, I, like again, I don't want to put throw people under the bus, but people who have been around me either intimately or for a long enough time know I have, there is Trish that snaps and there's Trish that feels really bad about it. There's Trish that acts like a little kid. And there's Trish that's like, there's just a lot of, and I don't know, like maybe that's schizophrenia. Maybe that's manic. Maybe that's, I don't know what it is. And for people like you need to go get diagnosed, stop starting misinformation. One, if you're coming to me for information, like you're already screwed. Like I'm not, you know what I mean? I'm just a person. But two, I, I've gone and I, I've talked about this and I feel like I, I don't make it clear enough. Like I literally will ask people like, okay, what do I have? And they'll just like, well, there's not really like one thing you have. Like there's like traits of, of things. And that's when I say when there's traits of and people get so mad, they're like, oh, you just have to. But it's like, that's what, that's what people have told me as a, as recent as this last one who was so good. And you know what? I do have to go back to therapy and I do have to go back to classes. Um, cause I was going to group classes too for DVT, DVD classes. And I, you know, I was feeling so good when I was doing that. And I have to, like, that's part, like when it, when it gets back to it. When we get back to going out and stuff, I, I have to get back to doing that because that really did stabilize me and help me and make me feel like it's okay. Like my therapist was, and he's someone I haven't talked to necessarily about DID or anything like that, but he was so great in like helping me understand me because I don't understand me. And I, I don't, I guess maybe that's why people are, get offended or upset by me because I don't understand myself, but like I'm talking about myself so people get really offended by that even though I'm just trying to figure my own self out and I'm not someone who believes that you have to figure yourself out in order to be accepted into the world you know what I mean I don't know I don't know if that makes sense <laughs> I feel like we're all trying to figure ourselves out and just because I haven't figured myself out yet like doesn't mean I can't share my life and share what I'm into and share what I'm feeling and my thoughts and stuff you know I feel like sharing only helps. Well, I guess not only helps because some people think it's, but also words I say, you know, and just like anyone, like if I am, if someone makes a video about me and I respond, that's not bullying, that's not harassing, that's defending myself, you know? If you make a video about me, I can respond. Just like if I talk about people, and guess what? I talk about a lot of people, podcasts, like I don't expect people to not snap back at me if I talk about them, even if it's not aggressive, even if it's not mean or I don't mean it to be mean. Like if I mention someone's name, I can't get mad if they respond. I can't be like, oh my God, now you're harassing me. Like all this stuff like that. Like, And guess what? For people that I don't want to go on a back and forth with, I don't even acknowledge. I don't respond. I don't mention their name. Like that's just the easiest way to do it. But um, I don't know. I guess I'm like going really minimal makeup today, aren't I? This mascara is really nice, actually. And this damn girl by Too Faced. I'm really excited to go makeup shopping now that I'm like doing my own makeup and stuff. Like, you know, like doing makeup again. Like, I haven't done makeup on myself in so long. I'm like enjoying it. So I'm like excited to go find like new products and stuff because I've been using like the same products over and over and over. Um, but yeah, I've been feeling good. I mean, like, you know what it is? I have structure. I have a plan. I'm planning days out, like days I want to film things. Okay, so my birthday month is coming. May May eighth is my birthday. So beginning in May, I consider my May my birthday month, which is just basically my birthday week. Because after my birthday, I kind of don't give a shit about it anymore. Because apparently we're out May fifteenth. I was like, oh, you can celebrate your birthday then, and it's like, no. Once my birthday's passed, I'm over it. 
But having said that, I'm totally fine with it because I am going to decorate. I ordered decorations for myself. I ordered balloons for myself. I ordered presents for myself. I ordered cake for myself. And I know that sounds sad. And maybe people are like, wow, Trisha, that's really sad and pathetic. But you know what? It's not. <laughs> One, we're in isolation. But even if we're not, I have gone too many birthdays where I didn't feel special. I didn't feel like it was a special day. And I love birthdays. I love celebrating other people's birthdays. I love gifts for other people. And so I'm going to make my day special too. And uh, even if you're alone in life, whether we're in isolation or not, I think it's okay to throw yourself a birthday party. And yeah, nobody can come. But you know what? That means I get to eat all the cake myself. It's sad. I mean, I am sad. I'm not going to lie. Like it's, It sucks that my birthday's in, in isolation. But you know... We just make the best of it. That's what happens. We're going to make the best of it. That was weird how I phrased that. We're going to make the best of it. What is this? Lip balm? I'm like obsessed with like lip chopsticks and lip balms. I have like a whole. All right, guys. I am going to go ahead and go. But, uh, oh. Thanks for. Mm -hmm. That's nice. This is so cute. Thanks for kind of getting ready with me. Summer Fridays. Wow. Oh, I put too much on, but okay. I'm gonna get my straw for my little juice now. Looks so bomb. All right. So I ended up putting a little bit of blush on. And now I'm just gonna finish my hair, which I think I'm just gonna like let it down for today. Because I don't really mind it up, but I don't know. My hair has grown so much. I'm so excited about that. Um just kind of letting it be somewhat natural. I don't put heat on it every day. Well, I guess you guys have been seeing me put heat on every day, but usually I just try and do like get the ridges out and then on the ends a little bit, but if I just put oil throughout, I feel like it kind of does the trick. And I can put a little oil in today because I'm gonna wash it tomorrow. So I can go a little heavier on that. But yeah. Definitely gets hot super quick. And uh, I need a trim, that's for sure. But it's so weird because like my natural color is growing at the top, so I can see more like I have like gray hair, <laughs> which is crazy. Uh, I wonder when that started. Like I'm like thinking because I've always like bleached my hair out, so I guess I would never have, would have seen it. But it is there's some gray streaks in it. And that's super scary. Yeah, this is just such a... But once this grows, man, I'll be so excited. And it is growing, so... I'm trying to keep on it with the oil. Making it ridgeless. And I try and go quick. I try not to put too much heat on it for too long. Like I try not to hold it down. I just try and go quick over it. Like quick. Just a defrizz, really. I always mess with my hair because I have hair to mess with now. So I'm always in like doing that because I just never had hair to do that before. So just a quick get ready. All I did was literally didn't even contour. I just put bronzer and blush. Like I didn't even put like sticks or anything like that. I'm like we're going with that and that's it so all right and then i'm gonna put a little oil on at the ends just on the blonde parts and this is old puck stuff that i got from sephora but specifically the damaged parts if i see it's damaged we're oiling those babies up And sometimes you gotta be careful with the oil because it like can get on your face. So I try not to do it too much. And then I can kind of just put it throughout a little bit. But it does kind of piece it out, which I kind of like. And I'm gonna wash it tomorrow, so. Yeah, looks pretty good though. It actually looks like hair. <laughs> there was a time where I could never wear my natural hair out and make it look acceptable. So at least it's that. 
All right. We did it. All right, guys. That is my get ready with me in a nutshell. My little morning routine. That's my little pick me up. My little secrets. Just staying sane, sane during this isolation. But I love you guys. Cheers. See you up tomorrow. <laughs> I'll go to one of my other four channels. There's a lot happening.